Hello.
Actually, the other one is better.
chief government planning economy, minister of planning and economic development, I think I'm interested. Permanent secretary in charge of economic affairs, also the prime minister, from September 1945 to May 1986. Permanent secretary, minister of planning and economic development from May 1986 to 1992. Chairman of the Culture Policy Committee, and also chairman of the steering committee for growing up their economic and organizational plans 1986 1996. He also worked as permanent secretary, secretary to the treasury, minister of finance and economic planning 1992 to May 1998. Consultant for International Monetary Fund in Washington, D.C as a member of the external review group of the physical affairs department of the IMF August 2000. He was the chairman of the Association of African Central Banks from August 2, 2003 to August 2004. He worked as chairperson of the executive board of the African Capacity Building Foundation based in Harare, Zimbabwe, from 2003 to 2006, and governor and chairperson of board of the director of the Council of Zimbabwe since December 2000 to date. Appreciating that Mr. Emmanuel Kusime Mutevile was a very good leader who immensely served Uganda with dedication and patriotism and participation in shaping the best of Uganda through organization of Uganda's financial sector and designing and implementing economic and fiscal reform programs that have restored Uganda's economy. Now therefore we resolve me to resolve that Parliament collectively conveys its deep condolences Condolences to the big family relatives, friends, and the people of Uganda for the loss of the distinguished and gallant citizen of this land. Two, Parliament takes cognizance of the immense contribution that the Professor Emmanuel Kumusi, the people of Uganda. The Honorable Speaker, I beg you to Thank you. Right, Honorable Prime Minister and Leader of Government Business, is the motion seconded? It is seconded by the Leader of Government, I mean Leader of Opposition, Honorable Mpoka, by the, the whip of Opposition, Honorable Wagawa, Honorable Sebona, Honorable Bahati. I am mentioning some names for the answer. Okay, the whole house is supporting the motion. In the Minakawa, the woman representative. Thank you so much for supporting the motion. Honorable right, honorable Prime Minister, would you like to speak to your motion? Let me speak speaker, just question of the institution of parliament paper with the late Professor Emmanuel Arakunsin and to be the government of the government. Let me speak and colleagues of 23rd January 2022, we received sad news of the death of Professor Emmanuel Arakunsin and to be the governor back of Uganda. He succumbed to diabetes and related complications. <coughs> Professor Tumusili Mutevide served as a governor of the Bank of Uganda from 2000 until his death. He was highly respected as a central, governor, a central bank governor, professional economist and reformer. 
spearhead the design and implementation of the economic reform program that restored Uganda from the economic instability of the 1970s and 80s to the sound economic performance during this deployment at the public secretary and secretary of the Treasury in the midst of finance planning and economic investment. Honorable the speaker and honorable colleagues, Professor Emmanuel Mokerire was born on January 27, 1949, in Kavari District. He attended Chikese College in Tovere, Makerere College School, and in 1970, he joined Makerere University, where he was elected president in 1972, he freed Uganda after criticizing President Williams. Expansion of his He completed his studies at Durham University with a degree in economics and political science. In October 1972, he joined Dario College, University of Oxford, for postgraduate studies. 1977 to June 1979, he was a lecturer in industrial economics. University of Dar es Salaam. In 1979, Professor Tulsime Mochevine returned to Uganda and served in several capacities. That is, 1979-1980 was the deputy principal private secretary to the president. 1981 was acting under secretary minister of planning. 1982 he was the chief government planning economist in the Ministry of Finance. The Honorable Speaker and colleagues, in 1985-1986, he was the Public Secretary in charge of Economic Affairs Office of the Prime Minister. In 1986, he was transferred to the Ministry of Planning and Economic Development as Public Secretary and appointed Chairman of the Culture Policy Committee. 1992 to June 1996, he worked as a public secretary of the newly emerged Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development. July 1996 to April 1998, he was a secretary to the Treasury and the public secretary of Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development. I don't speak up for this. Professor Mutemine worked as a consultant for the World Bank, the National Monetary Fund, UNDP, African Development Bank, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, Microeconomic and Financial Management Institute of East Africa uh, and Central Africa, UK Department of International Development and the North South Institute in Canada. As a speaker and one of the leads, Professor Mutemine, who was a referee of the Rotary Club of Kampala, one of the first Rotary Clubs in Uganda, where he maintained membership for 39 years. He made donations to all major Rotary activities in Uganda. And contributed generously to the Rotary Foundation of Rotary International to support humanitarian services. The Honorable Speaker, Professor Mutevile, lived out his full potential as a versatile economist, a nationalist, and a pan Africanist. The monetary and fiscal reform of the champion of the of Uganda's economic standing and international rating, hence attracting investment, creating jobs, improving household incomes. The Honorable Speaker, we extend our sincere sympathies and condolences to the family, Bank of Uganda, and the country of Iran. The Honorable Speaker, may his soul rest in town. Thank you, Mr. Government Business. Can I now have the second? Leader of opposition. Thank you. 
so much, right, Honorable Speaker?
adalah financial institution, financial institution. It gives Uganda as the fixed cost performer in terms of revenue collection when measured by revenue as a percentage of GDP. This is what we mentioned right from the speaker. This grand son of Uganda, an authority and economic management, is leaving Uganda choking on public debt with interest payment on public debt for the financial year 2023 programmed at about 5.88 trillion, of which 4.059 trillion is interest payment, the Honourable Speaker. The Professor Honourable Speaker was an honest man who didn't fear talking straight, who sometimes made powers that be so uncomfortable. And allow me to sing out three incident right from the speaker. I recall when in 2011 the governor, Bank of Uganda, disagreed with the president over the decision to spend $740 million on six fighter jets. At the time, right from the speaker, this payment led to a rundown of the stock of our foreign reserves from six to four months of import cover. The Minister of Defense, under the President's directive, and which I am the Minister of Finance, planning and economic development, in a single transaction with the group, $400 million. That was the first payment, overnight from Bank of Uganda to pay for the fighter jets without parameter approval. Since that time, I don't speak up. The competitive, the total work showing has never regained and the import cover has never risen five months. The governor informed this parliament how he reluctantly accepted to lose hundreds of millions of dollars after assurances and an informal agreement with the finance minister and the president that in about three years, proceeds from oil revenue will be used to repay the Bank of Uganda loan. But when I speak up, that to new members of parliament explains uh, the history of what we now consider the capitalization of Bank of Uganda that this parliament has been making since financial year 1718. The second is the federal speaker. Professor Mtepe will not fear attributed the inflation and exchange rate depreciation 2011 to the election cash bonanza. In which the NRM and its leadership literally broke into the central bank in order to buy votes. After Casita, the state trader and the other stakeholders went on strike that the traders were protesting against the escalating dollar price. The governor did admit that this money was used for engineering and applying the economy to chaos. He then promised that next time, Government attempt to raise the central bank during the election campaign will not, will not be allowed. We will have to explain whether that will be happen. The third and last is the Federal right Speaker, in which is when the governor stood his ground and resisted a plan by the executive to award an official contract to print Uganda currency to vary those identity solutions. A company without any history of currency printing. The governor assisted the president and the minister responsible for finance, as well as the Attorney General, on a deal that they have created risk of public lack of faith in our currency and the store of value. We now pay tribute to a man who stood his ground and served according to what he did right, not what was being imposed on him. Unfortunately, Honourable Speaker and colleagues, he has left us when more than half of Ugandan households, about 57%, are still in a non monetary economy. Honourable Speaker, if I take leave of this eulogy, may I take this opportunity to address this August House on three important policy issues that we must run, not run away from as Parliament. One, our senior citizens who have served this country with distinction and honor deserve to retire honorably and enjoy many more years of their lives in retirement. 
This house owes our citizens a law that bars men and women. Why well, would you find it today? Well, could you distress all public service? And I believe members will agree with me that we need to reconsider particular provisions that will plan people that need to retire into community stress. Probably the professor will have lived more days if he had been allowed to retire because he had paid his part with honor. Two, the practice of seeking special treatment in neighboring countries is very unfair to millions of our citizens. For have interested us, particular speaker, with the privilege of sitting here to fix the broken health sector. Out of pocket players financing is a big burden to most of our households who seek for social treatment. Health insurance, which is our which our neighboring funds adopted years ago, is the only alternative that can support our underfunded health care system. But let us speak my team in terms of take leadership on the health care insurance bill which government has failed to introduce to this house, but not a speaker. Probably, after we have made rest this grandson of Uganda, we should return and demand for an explanation as what became of the reward to try to those people. For that should, people should spend, uh, they should stop spending money abroad when they have spent taxpayers' money on non existing health care projects, like the reward project, which is now God's project, by right, not speaker. By right, not speaker, May the soul of that governor rest in eternal peace. I beg your Thank you, Mr. Opposition. At least it's another one you captured chair. We had a press economist, a very honest man, very intelligent, very transparent to the interpreter, and that is Professor Mutebuke. And I'm happy that even opposition is agreeing with that. And I want to thank Bank of Uganda really for treating Professor Ndebi. You put on to have Professor Ndebi here for some of the seniors. Uh, independent. Thank you, right honorable speaker. And I want to thank you in a special way for giving us who who came to this August House on individual tickets, found as independence, the slot to evangelize one of the greatest sons of Uganda. I will not be speaking on behalf of the independence, since each of them is independent of the other. But <laughs> I have taken the honor to represent them. I'm not a prisoner. 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 I first had an interaction with the deceased professor sometime in 2002 or thereabout when we had a delegation to perform a cultural marriage function in Soroti for the family of Honor Shemba Gene and the family of the late Honor Ejabu. And we had a wonderful, nice evening. And that's when I came to know the social part of Professor Matebe. Because in the company we had the late uh, Justice Almost to Nomajone and the late Manz Mugini. I will not narrate what happened that evening, but we had a good time. And that's when I came to know the social party of the late Professor Mutebe. For us who come from Kigezi, we always had the political rivalries and wrangles. But whenever we had such wrangles, it was only Professor Mutebe to call us to order and reconcile the warring parties. And he would do that at the instance of Mama Teresa Gil. Now he is in the bathroom 
as to who will be intervening and to both sides in the various parties and litigation, which we normally do. The region had a lot of respect for Professor Mtebele and he contributed a lot in education, not only as a lecturer, but when the sons and daughters of Kigezi established a non-profit making university called Recovery University, using his position as a governor and the, under the corporate social responsibility of Bank of Uganda, that university was financially supported to keep afloat and offer education to the students across the region until government took it over. And we do a proud and uh, cherish him for that. Professor Mutebile was non sectarian. Practically all regions in the region, be it Islam, Catholic, Anglican, Pentecostal, benefited from his magnanimity one way or the other. He was a brutally honest in Michigan. When some of us are treated as rebels because we speak our minds, that is what a typical Michigan should be. And we would take positions at times against his own because of that honesty in him. I remember when he decided to close National Bank of Commerce, which formerly was against the Bank of Commerce friends, the Wamanga, the Sumas, definitely he should he ought to have been one of them, but he decided to close it because it did not meet the requirements of Bank of Uganda. That is the professor we are talking about. For the line of Kigezi, we will miss him. We pray the Almighty God to rest his soul in eternal peace. Thank you so much, Honorable Wink. Honorable Commissioner.
I have a prof reading yesterday. My professor's home, which is the bank of Uganda House. And I watch the window dropped. And I, whatever you're doing here, people are looking at you. How insensitive you can make to be. Watch the window dropped. All of us now, with the video was for a tree. And the window said, when the professor was about to, to, when the contract was ended, he asked the husband, where are we going? And he said, God will provide. And now, you are coming to God to provide. Is the motion, is the amendment supported? Jinga.
Honorable Sinoani, thank you so much. Honorable Maya Mosley. Of Bakere University, 
he disagreed with the government then and he had to flee the country. Yet people who are not good and honest probably would have just been subdued and try to follow what Amin was doing. This reminds me of a Mchiga man who was going to the market to sell his dog. And the prospective buyer met him and said, Does this dog back? Is it a very strong dog? And the Mchiga said, No, it's a useless dog, that's why I'm selling it. <laughs> <laughs> the risk of undermining the market of the dog. That's how honest <laughs> And uh, I am sure members of parliament will call whenever Professor Mutebe will come to the committees in the house here. He will give his brutal professional comments and opinions, even when we disagree with them, but eventually we will realize he's an economist who is giving his sound advice. And therefore, we thank him for that. I speak about Professor Mutebe, the man of integrity. Professor Mutebe was not a slave of material works and world riches. That's why the commissioner was making an amendment that he did not amass works even when he signed on the, the legal agenda, even when he presented over Bank of Uganda, he did not have greed in a situation where for some people Greed has become their greed, and therefore we thank him for the integrity that he exhibited as the governor of Bank of Uganda. I speak about Mumerire as a family man, a man who his wife told us that despite the busy schedules he had as a governor, he would find time to always have lunch and dinner with the family, he would find time to make sure that he's with the family in prayer at home. The deputy governor of Bank of Uganda told us every Sunday they would meet at his house, talk about bank matters, but also to pray to God for the strength of Bank of Uganda. I speak about Mutelile as a man of God, a man who loved the God, a man who went to church. We got information from all saints that sometimes he would conduct the choir in the, the All Saints Church here in Akasero. You can imagine the governor of Bank of Uganda would think he has no time for church, but that was Professor Mutele. I speak about Mutele, the generous man. As people who came from Shigezi, we know he was a great generous person who contributed to many community causes without any sectarian tendencies. He supported all churches and prayer faith institutions without discrimination. He supported many causes as a Rotarian. He supported community interventions. We have an association that brings together Wajachigezi, the international community of Wajachigezi, the Wajachigezi from Chigezi and in the diaspora. And he was our patron. And we greatly appreciate the contributions that he gave. I could go on and go on, but time is not on our side. Last year, Madam Speaker, I request you, as a person who has been chairing the organization, the arrangements for the funeral arrangement, to brief Parliament about the remaining days, how we are going to, to handle the value of the funeral arrangements. With your permission, Madam Speaker, let me update Parliament that his body arrived on Tuesday evening and as we have already known, the government offered and accorded Professor Mtevi an official burial. And last night we had the vigil at his residence in Kororo and now we are paying tribute in the Parliament. Tomorrow there will be a funeral service in Kororo, the ceremony of grounds, but it will be a scientific service where mourners will be up to 300 people and we request that the majority of the public can follow the proceedings through virtual platforms, i.e. televisions, radio, and the other IT platforms. 
shall be live streaming the proceedings in Kororo. And the, all those who will be accessing the grounds have to undergo a COVID test. And his body shall be found with cavalry on Saturday, and we shall have a vigil at his residence in Kavali municipality in the evening, and then very young will be on Sunday. We shall start with the church service in Rugarama at midday, Rugarama Cathedral, and thereafter he will be ready to rest in his home, at his home in Chichuguta village, Kavali municipality. Thank you very much for allowing me to give an update with respect to food arrangements. And we welcome you to cover it for those who we manage to travel to cover it, so that we can give a decent send off to the distinguished son of Uganda, whom we respect a lot. I thank you very much, Vice Honorable Speaker, and thank the Honorable Members. Condolence books have been opened at Parliament here for members of the public to come and sign, but also at the Bank of Uganda, as well as. Professor Mutevile's residence in Koro. So there are three places where the condolence book has been opened, and members of the public can freely go to his residence, Bank of Uganda, and here at the Department of Uganda. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Chris. Can we have one of our Bahati? Then we have a brother. Procedure. We have a brother Procedure. to members. We are very privileged. I have a session as two. Wait for two to have your procedure order and my procedure. Is it a procedure in there? Let me finish then you bring it. We have a brother to the late Professor Manuel. In the names of Honorable Dima Kena, he will speak next after you. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker and Honorable Reeves. I want to support the motion to pay tribute to our elder brother and great economist, Professor Emmanuel Mukhebe. But, Madam Speaker, I want first of all to thank you for accepting to have this sitting to pay tribute to our elder brother and the members for coming in big numbers to pay tribute to this patriot and great economist. Colleagues, Professor Mutevile now belongs to the ages, but we will remember him in so many ways. We shall miss him as a hardworking and this being public servant who made a mark for the economic development of our country. His firmness and truthfulness, especially in situations that require difficult decisions, helped our country take firm and solid reforms that have seen our country grow economically and also maintain stable impression in the single digits for the last 30 years. Our economy, because of the reforms him and his colleagues initiated, has seen our country expand from over 3 billion in the 90s, now to 44 billion US dollars. Mutebile was very firm and truthful and was never ashamed to say what is need be or abandon. Despite his political ideology, he was a very good friend of the Obote family and he remained friendly to them until his death. Professor Mutebide will be remembered as a man with a big heart and his generosity touched many lives. Madam Speaker and colleagues, I want to say that Professor Mutebe initiated at the Bank of Uganda 
a project to support maternal health that has seen built health centers in Guru, Arua, Mbarara, Rwanda, Jinja, Masaka, and Kavara. Colleagues, on Saturday, as Honorable Police has said, the military helicopter will take off from Kororo Airstream, airing to the body of Professor Mtebe. And after one hour, it will land at Kavara World Coast. This will mark his last trip home. But the economic journey he started will not have ended. And we who are still alive can keep his legacy by ensuring that we maintain inflation in a single day through fiscal discipline, pass budgets that support production, not consumption, because consumption increases inflation. Bring the interest rates down. One time asked Professor Mutemide, and we had this debate over time, why he was not bringing the interest rates down as at the rate that we hoped him to do it. And he said, you know, I have one tool that I use. That's the bank, the central bank, uh, uh, central, the, the, the great trade. And the second one is within your port to make sure that you have a fiscal discipline. And this domestic borrowing you continue going into will continue to cause you problems. That's what he told me. But also let us support and continue to support the policies that support free enterprise. Madam Speaker, sometimes we hear voices that want again government to intervene and nationalize, which I really believe with in an open market economy, where forces of supply and demand determine market prices. And that's what we should continue uh, to support. Madam Speaker, last I want to thank Aunt Betty, the wife of Professor Mutemi. She has lived up to the vows she took when she married Professor Mutemi. In the sickness and in work, you have stood by Professor Mutebile and we are very grateful. I also want to thank His Excellency the President for remaining loyal to Professor Mutebile, the governor. Even when some voices were saying, you know, at his age and his situation can't be, but President Jerry Mutebile continue to renew his contracts until it has been causing you that the wisdom in Utebi was still needed in this country. Despite being a great economist as a white guy, Utebi also had another side, and especially later in his life, he became spiritual. And he used to sing. You can't imagine and believe. He was a good singer. And every time anybody was visited his home, Every time they say the prayer as a family, he would sing. And he had this particular song he liked, which is, which is drawn from the Bible, Revelation chapter 7, verse 12, which I would want to read not to see, because I cannot imitate the, the deep voice of Professor Mateo. And he said, he says, Amen, blessings and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and strength belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Professor Mutebi, to all that you have done and contributed to this country, to your family, the glory belongs to God. Amen. Thank you. Members, we will have two minutes, please. We have two minutes. Yes, uh, Commissioner. Uh, I will have the hand of one of our panel, then we will have to see. Yes, 
señor Pro, señor Mata. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand on the procedural issue and I wish for your guidance, Mr. Honorable Speaker. Uh, the Right Honorable Prime Minister came with a, a motion which we all supported by the House, including myself, Right Honorable Speaker. My colleague, my fellow Commissioner, came up with an amendment uh, on that same motion. When the Right Honorable Prime Minister stood up, she never mentioned about whether she's in support of that amendment or not. And also the whole House Right Honorable Speaker never supported that motion. And that's why so. I don't support the motion because I believe just the money that was used for his burial to build for his house. Right honorable speaker, let the house support this motion so that it's put on record. I stand to guide the right honorable speaker. I thank you. My commissioner, thank you for your concern. The motion was brought. If you want it to be put to vote, Full bridge. Full bridge. Mindful of the financial implication it has, but we are saying government and Bank of Uganda must take responsibility to ensure the family has the place of abode. It is an amendment. Yes, amendment. I want to thank you very much for permitting me. Uh, I think we are moving in one direction. And my view is that our concern, first of all, is to recognize the contribution of Professor Mutabini to the country. And this is not the first time we are recognizing contributions. And I also want to thank you for the guidance where you're taking us that we do this in accordance with. Will you permit me, therefore, to move an amendment, a small, a slight amendment, one to the effect that the government follows up as undertaken by the Right Honorable Prime Minister in today's proceedings to ensure that the welfare of the family of Professor Mutibidi whose contribution to the country is recognized by all across the world, and that the Prime Minister does report to the House in subsequent cities the steps are taken by government. I so move. Thank you, thank you. I now put a question that goes in favor of the amendment that has been put in place. Say I and those in against. Those in the contrary say no. Aye. The eyes have it. Honorable Kenna. Honorable Kenna Jimmy. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. I am honored and privileged to be in a position to give a tribute to my elder brother on the floor of <coughs> Professor Mutebile became part of our household as a student leader. In those days, my late father admired and tried to groom leaders for whatever they might. And Mutebile, as a strong student leader, became part and parcel of the household. As somebody who became close, I have special admiration in that throughout the changing portions of time, even when we became political members, Mutabile stood firm and recognized that he had a connection and was always available. It is unfortunate my late father, I'm sorry, my late father cannot be here to speak to this. My mother is in pain that one of her dear sons has passed. Because Professor Mutebile was always available to her and to help her in through difficult positions. On the point which uh, my brother, Dr. Chris, raised, 
on him being firm and truthful. I want to extend it further. And in this occasion, I want us to be honest with ourselves. Professor Mutabile was in the Minister of Finance under the second UPC government. Within that government, there was a crafty of a way to recovery and was termed as a revised recovery program. There were some bush economics which came with butter, butter trade and other things which did not work, honestly did not work. And it came to a point where reality had to come to the forefront. And fortunately for Uganda, we had somebody who could speak to that truth honestly and clearly as economists. At that stage, the NRM government adopted what was called the Rehabilitation and Development Plan, which is word for word, comma for comma, the revised recovery program of the UPC. But unfortunately, politics clouds issues that our statistics almost stop 30 years, 36 years, but the recovery of Uganda and the contribution of Uganda citizens must be recognized across the board. I hope we have honest and people of great integrity who will serve this country irrespective of the regime and can be recognized across regimes. One such person is my elder brother. And it's in this future, this truth always came through. The economics does not lie, it is clear, it is absolute reality. And I hope as we learn that we can emulate my fallen brother and serve our country here be able to contribute, that our contribution will go and will last for posterity. So it's with a heavy heart that I can stand here, and also with gratefulness to say thank you, Professor Matabile, for your soul. I vote, I vote with you to ask for help for the association, and the rate is the first person to give me a check of 300,000 to support their association. It did not stop there. He continues to explore our activities as the association, and also he was very central in supporting his old school, Chigas College of Soleil, where he was awarded an award as a, as a golden boy. So he inspired me to be what I am today. May you so rest in time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dr. Baita, then the woman has been. Hey. Dr. Kamara. Thank you. Great honorable speaker. I stand to support the motion to pay tribute to the late Professor Emmanuel Tumusimu Mutebire, a distinguished economist and embodiment of Uganda's fiscal and economic policies that enabled Uganda sustained growth. On behalf of my family and my own behalf and the people of Kavali Municipality, where this great icon hailed, I pay tribute to him as the real lion of Kigezi. He will be remembered for steering and revamping the economy of our country through a strong tide. Professor Motivide was a distinguished, proud old boy of Kigez College of Tobe, where he also studied, a true Mosinia. This is a traditional and government school <coughs> where he started in the 1960s. Owing to entire his intellectual prowess, he was able to attain the best education that propelled him to the top of the professional we knew and admired. Gates College of Tobe is now struggling an appalling predicament shared by most government schools in the country, I dare say that if Professor Mutevira were born today, he wouldn't have made the strides in the current system. The passing of this exceptional matter, I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
tarde. Luminas. Thank you, Roy, for not speaker. I'm Catherine Ndamira, my name is Kavari District, and uh, Professor Ewanwin Tumusina Mtevile has been my daughter. Allow me to join the world to celebrate his life on earth. My former speaker, the people of Kavari has lost a pillar. Professor Emmanuel has been a depiction of a real Chica, an inspiration to many. He issued a number of wise statements that whoever listened to and followed will never go wrong. Professor has been a corruption free man. His level his corruption levels were at zero percent, if not negative. And to me, I think the government should always employ such people in sensitive offices if we are to have a corruption free country. Right from our speaker and colleagues, Professor Emmanuel will forever be remembered for his great contribution and celebrate service towards the growth and movement of the Gezi sub-region and Uganda as a whole. Right from our speaker, I want to testify there is a time where Professor Mkemile had the police in the committee. I saw the man coming. He was supported by people I thought he would fail, but to I can, I can go through the sentence for you that we are surprised we were able to answer what was being asked. And secondly, when he was asked, he said, I am in this seat until God takes me. And indeed, it has happened. Honorable Samo, Honorable Mutulo. So long as this, we have 20 minutes to go. I want to thank you for allowing me to come and do the excuses to this president of Uganda. I want to also vote for those with the family, especially Mama Betty. Thank you for loving and caring for the professor. Right now, I want to thank you for having an opportunity to work with Professor Mutebile when he was the Chancellor of the International University of East Africa, where I was the chairperson of the University Council 2014 to 2017. I found him a man of humility, despite his status, a man of integrity, a man who was straightforward. He was a great mentor who would always guide us on how to move with the university. How to tell us, please, make sure that you give students courses that are marketable. I do not want students to get back. No wonder the university became a university of science and technology. Right now, our speaker, many people have said here that Professor was a good timekeeper. Indeed, when you invited you to the bank for a meeting, indeed you had to be there. When you invite a duty to you already get him seated. It's up to you to become guilty. Right now, our speaker, Professor Mutibile was a man of open heart. No wonder. We are here giving emotion to support him. And I would do approach him who would always come to them. Right now, our speaker, there was a dream of the professor. One day he told us, when I retire, I want to go back to Lake Munyoni. I want to bring in a new animal, certain species of animals to this place, so that when I sit in Munyoni, Lake Munyoni, I will be looking at these animals and admiring them and enjoying my life. We all know that Professor Mutebe was a very social man. He was a man who was kind, 
And the man was never protected. I first tell I met him, I said, how do I do you a chance who is the governor of Mark of Uganda? But Madam Speaker, I found him very easy to work with, a man who would be able to guide him, a man who would smile and always be there. And I want to update again. Thank you to use the scotching, but this is the way to go. Fare the well, Professor Mutebile, until we meet again. Rest in peace, my brother. Thank you. Instead of the chair, we then want to vote Tom. Madam Speaker, uh, Madam Speaker, I would like to support the motion that has been moved by the right of the Prime Minister. Uh, Madam Speaker, at the beginning of this month, the South District lost one of its distinguished staff. I'm no member of this part, Madam Speaker, because I do see the members similarity between that man, Reverend Governor Kulakita, and Professor. Right 
Mary with Christ. We people from Toro are saddened by this death of Professor Emmanuel Mutevile Apui. We are really saddened and we extend our condolences to the people of Kigezi, the family, and I want to invite the wife because he married from our place. And the Minister of State here, the local government, is one of the mothers we love. So we are really excited. Point number two that I'm speaking. I represent, and many of us here represent rural constituencies. Professor Jimmy knew our country very well. He knew the problem of a rural member parliament. He knew the problem at some county level. So much so that if you put in a request for laboratory equipment, for a computer, for a lab, construction of uh, a rural primary, etc., he would respond, not immediately, but shortly. As long as Thank you. As long as that application has been rooted properly, the response will come and assistance will be extended. I thank you, Reverend. Thank you, thank you, Sophie. Another for Sophie. Then I'll come back to this side. Remember, this is the two side in house. Yes, my condolences to the excellence of the President of Uganda, the person who came to the death and the legal connection that has lost such a mighty man. My condolences to my daughter. Yeah, we have to turn to them in the hearing. My brothers and sisters from Fall Kingdom. We give our condolences to Our Majesty the King, Oye Nima Kamaniguru, because our in-law had respect for our kingdom and support. It's very rare that a human being can have very many talents for all the people across the nation to accept. And here we are, mourning an intelligent man, a God-fearing man, a generous man, a non-corrupt man, a down-to-earth in-law, a very, very high moral upright man, hard-working, even when his body turned weak, he could accept to be supported physically to continue working. I know this is the only way to the Lord. I'm already better accepted to the Lord as your personal savior. You've been a very good preacher and mentor. I know you are going to stand firm in the Lord. And it's impossible that Emmanuel can hear all this. But if it were possible, he's a person who would have said, Miss me, but let me go. May the Almighty Lord reward him and rest your soul in eternal peace. Thank you, Chairman. Chairman, I'm sorry. He's an Hello. Yes. Uh, right Honorable Speaker, I support the motion by the Prime Minister. And as an in law, I'm saddened and grieving with my sister, Amoti Bifa. You have done a great job for this statesman who has served this nation tirelessly. He's a true Pan-Africanist and has been supported.
supporting the Pan-African cause in this country and the, beyond the continent. He was not a tribalist. It would be terrible for people to own me the way to the way as a tribe. He was a true African man and an internationalist and serving the universe to lift the economy of this country. No wonder the president has had all his confidence in him because of his character, because of his commitment and serving about self. We know he has done his role. It would be very important for the younger generation to learn from him. When they are talking about corruption, you know this is a, an evil that has really engulfed us. Now, losing people of that stature without documenting them and learning from them would be a disservice to this nation. I hope that we really write this government should put an effort to write about the works of Professor Mutebele such that the younger generation can learn from him. Professor Mutebele cut his teeth. That's when, when he grew his boldness and upright, forthright, uh, decisiveness in life. He was competing against Eli Karohanga. That campaign was like Muhammad Ali fighting Fraser in Kinshasa. Komaye, Komaye. Mutebele stung Eli Karohanga all over until we won those elections. Congratulations, my brother. That war you started, you never let it down until your last day, which we are now celebrating. Thank you for that courage. Actually, you are the only courageous Mukiga I know. <laughs> that Mudebina is a great man 
and that is why he works for Binaisa, he works for Lule, he works for Oboti, and he works for His Excellency Museveni. They all recognized the talent that this man had, the brilliance that he had as an economist, and we all saw it in the fact that in the last 20 years, our economy has consistently and steadily grown by 6%, which is the 11th fastest growing in the whole world and the fourth fastest growing in Africa. I therefore believe that this man is deserving not only of the tribute that is being paid to him here today, but if it was up to me, I would pay even more tribute to him by dedicating one of our banknotes to him so that we know him and see him as most countries do to their great men and women. I am glad that this house is considering taking care of his family. I think it is a good message to all civil servants that if you are honest, if you are integrity, Thank you very much, my honorable speaker. It is my belief that by supporting the motion for this house to recognize the contributions of the late governor by providing for his family, we do send a message to every civil servant in this country that if you are upright, if you serve your country diligently and well, we will take care of you when you are born. I therefore support that motion and hope that we will do so. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Jason Frias. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Honorable Jim, may you speak? Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I rise to support the motion that was moved by our right Honorable Prime Minister. On behalf of the people of Amoro, we have the, uh, the Catholic Chaplaincy in Parliament here, and on my own behalf, allow me to join the rest of the Ugandans in celebrating the life of our father, uh, Professor Mtebi. Madam Speaker, allow me just to point out something which, was, which is very significant in my life as a result of my interaction with the late. I was privileged to be one of those lucky ones to have lunch in the office of the professor in Bamboo, of Uganda. This was for me a privilege. We went to Bamboo, of Uganda in 2019 when the Archdiocese of Guru was supposed to animate Uganda Matters Day. We started with mass with the, uh, the staff of the Bank of Uganda, and to my surprise, the professor came and sat quietly and patiently during mass, and for me that spoke volumes. In his weakness, he came when the Archbishop of Guru John Baptist Odama was there. He sat until the mass was done. Then afterwards, he invited us for lunch in his office, a private lunch, to which I was actually honored to sit next to him. And I will forever hold that memory. We are running out of time. Remember, so many of you are sitting in the afternoon. You are in the morning, yeah? And I'm requesting members, if you've not spoken now, we know you all feel for the dead professor. You will speak in the next session. Kindly. Kindly. I know much of the people who will respect that. Thank you. Right Honorable Deputy Speaker of Parliament, I stand here to support the motion paying tribute to my dear brother. The fallen Emmanuel Mutubile. Well, Prime Minister, I came and uh, my first contact with Mutubile was when he was uh, working at the uh, personal assistant office of former President Binay I met him in the corridors of government 
and it was introduced to me by my late father. But at that time, it, it meant nothing. Because my father just introduced him as an official in government and a father's assistant to President Naita. Well, when the speaker, in 1993, when my late father was returning to Uganda, he told me that as I plan to come to Uganda myself, I have lived in the UK for about 20 years. He told me, my son, he gave me the names of leaders whom I should meet in the Chile sub region, but also told me, please make efforts to meet the quality, and it will help you a long way in your life. He mentioned that the name of a village, Fatuma, whom I didn't know. He mentioned the one Rwanda, which I knew. He mentioned the Mama Babazi, Abbas Zay, and Tabile. When I returned to Uganda in 2000, my first visit was to see Mr. Mutubile. And I told him I was going to stand in the Member of Parliament, the Shore County, and I needed his support. He told me he would support me, but he told me to go and see one Amos Uzay. That was Speaker. Why not go to this Speaker? The rest is history. I came to, we came closer and closer to the village, the given head of the government, and I came to love this man for his honesty, professional, and his type of work. Later on, by the grace of God, as well as the miracles, my wife went back to Uganda and walked to the ranks of Bank Uganda, we got the executive director of Bank Uganda, and the last four years, the last seven years, has been working in the office of the government. As uh, as, a, as a director in this bank. We have come closer and closer to the Mutubile family. And I'd like to thank Mutubile for giving my wife an opportunity and our family the opportunity to work close with him. If there's anything I have learned and I wish in this world, and wish I do every day in my life, is to be as honest and do everything to be honest, transparent, and don't touch anything in government so that I can also be a member of the <laughs> Madam well, Speaker, I hope when I die one day, when I'm 90 or so, not soon, as many years, I support the motion that the late government of the US Company should be supported and in, in, with the motion that was put here. So that lessons can come out for being honesty, being transparent, and educating the life of the media. And I hope the same also will be remembered when I die, so that my family can also be given the same kind of thing. <laughs> May the spirit of may the good God put the spirit of the people where it deserves. May the angel of the spirit of God be in heaven. And may our ancestors, the spirit of ancestors, who are in heaven, receive the word. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I stand here to support the motion to move by the right honorable Prime Minister and seconded by the leader of opposition and as amended by the Lord Second. Right honorable speaker, allow me and my sympathies to the family of the late Professor Mutebile, Paul of Kigesi, Paul of Bank of Uganda, and the Council of Life. Madam Speaker, I would have spoken a lot of more time if we were to be given time, given the experiences that we had with the late Anna Kusase. But because of time, I, I will limit myself to a few uh, uh, things. One, which has already been stated here, the reforms in our economy. Yesterday, I was listening to Dugur Gunda, where he told us when they had just come from the poor, they come from the bush. Dr. Tele tried to advise him economically, but they were adapted to his economic ideas. Until finally, they were able to listen and understand, and it's able to be improved. Thanks to Dr. Jimmy. And that's why, for a person who helped to revive the economy of this country, where everybody today is proud, should really be appreciated through his family, given the, the motion we have given here, that the welfare of the family be taken care of by the government of this country. Madam Speaker, 
He was a man of God. He loved church. His contribution in all sense church. And not only that, and beyond, my OB, Honorable Tim has just stated here, the people of Kaseo, as he called them, did write to, to him requesting persistence. He did not just take the that church in his construction. What a kind person in the name of Professor David. Personally, in 2011, Dr. Mkepe called me to his office. I but as I entered his office, we had lunch and said, my brother, my son, I love the way you conduct yourself. I love the way you debate. I'm going to contribute for your election. What a personal contribution he made to me personally. No wonder I'm still here. I learned a lot from him. Being an economist like him, I didn't appreciate it. When he would go for the World Bank meetings, and this is why I want to appreciate Mama Betty. One time they again invited me to the apartments in Washington for lunch on and discuss the issues regarding the economy, the debt value of this country. Thanks be to God that he was able to help us. During the times of Kosase, when the president appointed us honorable speaker, you, me, Honorable Abdul Tutu, the IGG, the Mr. Mukanesi, and the government to dig into the issues which were affecting the Bank of Uganda. Dr. Kutebele said, no, I'm, I'll be a conflicted person, I will appear as a witness. Because there are people who did not believe in what he was doing. But when he appeared before the select committee, when he gave the answers, we were all convinced that he was taking the right thing. He was a straightforward man, and we thank God that Bank of Uganda stabilized. And we want to also understand the person that the president appointed as his deputy to help him when he was not well. Thank you so much for mentoring that gentleman in that office. Mm -hmm. Thank you, right to the speaker, may he solve this in the office. Thank you, Elaine. I want to talk about inspiration. Uh, Professor Mutebile inspired us in the country. He ordered for our promotion here at Maya Maya. When we were in St. China, he just said, have this girl's promotion. And we went. He has impacted in everybody's life. He don't go ever.
from the National Resistance Movement. Condolence Nursery, which is signed by an art team. Moses Chibongo, the National Voice Chairperson. It's a very soon profound solo. I have learned the death of a gallant, very gent, committed, down to Akiwana, Professor Emmanuel Mutabili, the Governor of Bank of Uganda, and the Chairman, Board of Directors of Bank of Uganda. As an economist and banker, Professor Jedele worked hard to restore the economic crisis that befell our country during the past few days. And in the struggle, that brought the democratic governments in Uganda. He has done our country proud till the day he lived his last. As I mourn the foreign comrades in the struggle, I appeal to the fellow Ugandans, especially those in the banking sector, to uphold the good works of Professor Mtebile for the good of our country. I condone with the great family and pray that the Almighty God helps you to recover from the shock of death of your beloved one. May his soul rest in eternal peace. That is a message from NRM. Members, we have an amendment to the motion. Amendment 3. To be captured in the answer, which is Parliament of this government to follow up on the undertaking that has been taken by government on matters regarding the welfare of the late Professor Mutebile, Mutebile's family, and to inform Parliament in the subsequent sittings. That is the amendment three. I now put a question. To the motion that has been moved, to, moved by the right honorable Prime Minister with amendment that this house pays a glowing tribute to the late Emmanuel Mussini with the period for the distinguished service to this nation. Those in favor say unto the contrary, the eyes have it. I want to thank you so much, so, so much for creating time to come to pay tribute to our gallant son, father, and brother. And as the Parliament of Uganda, we are we tender our sincere sympathy to the family, Bank of Uganda, to the whole country for the loss of the gallant son. And we will always be there for the family, as we've been always with the family. And as Bank of Uganda, keep our bank well. May the good Lord rest the man in the eternal place. The house is at the to go.
affected by corruption, but he was one of those rare breeds that never went that side. And uh, to support them, more especially by putting up something that will be able to improve the welfare of their families, is something that I strongly support. And uh, I don't want us to look at only one individual now, the Governor Bank of Uganda, but I think it would be important going forward that the government comes up with a policy of how such people should be rewarded. Yeah, please. Who's that door, man? 